I was good. Now, today, right, I wasn't going to post nothing, because I posted yesterday, and I was going to rest, but, but, I had to do this, I had to do this wrong, right? I think, right, <laughs> managers in retail businesses are the calmest thing you can think of, okay? Like, the amount of self-control it takes to not tell a customer what you're actually thinking is unreal. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Your managers could, like, literally tell a customer whatever they could, right? A lot of people would stop shopping and just buy shit online just so they don't have to deal with managers facts like if you gave me an option of here yeah, do you want a million dollars actually let's not say a million because if you give me a million dollars and you tell me that i'll leave would you take 1k nah i'll make it 10k nah i'll make it 100k would you rather fake 100k or would you wish you could tell customers what you actually fought off. And 100% right. I'll ditch the money and tell customers what I actually think. And oh my god, they are not going to like that. Today, I was at work, right? And this woman comes in and she's like, she's bought a bunch of sh like clothes she's returning. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, right, okay, say no more. And I'm standing there, right? And then it starts off chill, like she's talking normally to one of my, one of the staff on the tills. She's talking normally, like all good, nothing wrong. And then she's like, yeah, I'm returning these because um, my son is allergic to the label in your clothes. I'm like, did, 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 did I hear that right? But like, she's returning the clothes because her child is... Allergic to the label inside it. It's like, huh? Say no more. So I am not dealing with this customer. I'm just working. Like I'm working. I'm not dealing with this because <laughs> I don't have that patience. I'm not dealing with your ass. I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm gonna say something stupid. <laughs> so I'm like, say no more. <laughs> And I was standing in the back, right? And one of the managers come. And she's like, yeah, I'm returning this because uh, I buy clothes here. And my son is um, allergic to the label inside it. But then when I buy designer brands, my ch child does not get the allergic reaction from that label. And I'm like, if your child does not get allergic reactions from the labels of designer brands, why come shop here? Like, to those who know where I work. Obviously, you know. To those who don't know, I work at Primark. So I'm like, what? Go buy designer clothes then. Why are you at Primark <laughs> again? <laughs> if a child is allergic to the label, why would you come back to shop in Primark? What's your logic? What's your actual logic? Like, go away. And then she's complaining, right? She wants refunds, right? And I'm like, yeah, cool. We'll give you a refund, innit? But obviously, you know, every shop has their own policy on refunds. 28 days, 30 days, six, three months, like, return if it's not 40. But this woman, the shit she was returning, two years. She's had that thing for two years. You're telling me your child had an allergic reaction from something you bought. And it's taking you two years to return it. After your child has worn it like over and over and over, like fam, don't piss me off, like for real. And then you know what? As she was arguing with the managers, right? She goes on about I own businesses and I own and I know how shit works and you can't do this. You have to return and give my money back. I'm like, two years. What kind of business gonna do that? But yeah. Do you know how annoying you customers are sometimes? Like. <sighs> For real, yeah. This is how much you're wrong. I'm pissed off. 
<laughs> but this woman, right? And then, do you know what she does? As, as she's in the middle of arguing with the managers, right? She then walks off to buy a bed bed sheets that have the same logo in it for her son. Now, obviously, he's signing right here because if your son is allergic to the lo- the labels in the clothes, why would your son not be allergic to the label in the bed sheets? Y'all catch my drift. She was taking a piss. But yo, that happened today. And I'm thinking, I wish I could tell customers what I actually think when they come for shopping. Especially those ones that wear shoes and leave it on the floor and walk away. If I could, I'd... I'd tell you to pick them up. Honestly, this video's long. It shouldn't be this long. But I'm annoyed. But yeah, guys, obviously, that's all for today. I hate customers, but yo, I gotta work. That's my job. But you man are annoying sometimes, for real. Half of them are annoying. If you're one of them that leave shit lying around, yeah? Like, you pick a shirt and you leave it, like, 13 meters away from where you actually picked it up. Shame on you. I don't rate you no more. But good, I don't know who you are, so I still rate you. But yeah, that's the rant for today. Caught. You people stress managers out. Customers actually stress managers out. And all the managers out there, right? That are doing your best to stay calm in some really ridiculous situations. I applaud you. Honestly, I actually applaud you. You guys are awesome. Just gonna put that. You guys are actually awesome. Alright. That's it done for today. Obviously, boy Charlie Jinx, I'm ranting whenever I can. If I'm not, obviously, man's vlogging. Same thing. But yeah, I catch you man around. And obviously, I'm wearing my old PEK for rugby. Because, yeah, why not? Anyway, I catch you man around. And stay safe, all of y'all. And do what you gotta do. Stay grinding. Peace.